This is how to test uh, the amperage on a power supply. First of all, you've got to have a meter that uh, can test amperage, whether it's AC or DC. Uh, this is a pretty good meter. Pick it up at Home Depot. First, you want to select amps. It's the A. Then, with this meter, you need to also select uh, push the select button so that you can have that little line right there, squiggly line, which is AC, change to a straight line, which is DC. And then with DC, you have to zero out the, uh, the meter, just like that. Okay, so anytime you're testing amps, it's always just one wire. If you test two, you're going to get the wrong reading. So, with these particular power supplies, you can load them up to 85%. Uh, and uh, general rule of thumb for any power supply, transformer, or ballast, it's 80%. So with this, we've got uh, just a tad bit over 85%. 85% would be 4.25. Uh, just as an example, if you go around both wires, you should get close to zero amps because it's measuring what's going and coming back, so it should be the same. It doesn't matter if it's what the black wire or the red wire, positive or the negative, just as long as it's one wire. So, testing each one of these on the output side. Got 2.743 amps. Two point eight something amps. Looks like we've got a little over four amps. And we did this one already. Now, something to to uh, to note if you want a, a very accurate measurement, there are lines here, crosshairs for lining up that wire exactly in the center with DC it's more particular AC it won't matter so you can get a real accurate measurement one last thing if you look at the the side of it it usually has an arrow arrow right there crosshairs that arrow is the uh, direction of current uh, rule of thumb is negative flows to positive so negative it's coming out of the power supply here. Negative goes to the LEDs, it comes back through the positive. So the direction would be as so. And it does make a little difference here. See, we'll put exactly accent in the center 4.23 amps. And if I just turn it around the other way so it's the wrong way going to get a different measurement. 4.13. So, depends on how accurate you want to be. With DC it's kind of particular. Now if I wanted to test uh, AC amps, I need to put that back to AC and I would test the primaries down here. Here's a primary here and on the input side I only have a half an amp which is exactly perfect because these are 60 watt power supplies uh, that's about it